Hey guys, for this video I'm going to take a more positive look at Game of Thrones Season 8 since the anniversary just passed. I missed it because I was just, you know, binging something else. I owe it to Game of Thrones to take off the brass knuckles since I've made so many videos bashing it and actually take a look at what Season 8 did well. I'm going to go into everything story-wise that the season did right. Obviously, they did a great job with the music and VFX as an example, but for this video I'll be prioritizing what happens in the show. There's a lot of things that this season did alright, but I'll be pointing out what I think they did a good job on. Liana Mormont Out of all the characters that had unsatisfying payoffs and were ruined, Liana Mormont surprisingly had a great payoff. She initially gets yeeted off the screen like a fly, and you're like, for fuck's sake, did they just kill a fan favorite in like half a second? But no. She comes back in the most badass way possible and takes down a giant. The Hound To be honest, all they have to do is have him roast people and it's already A-plus television. The Lord of Light's gonna wonder why I brought you back 19 times just to watch you die when I chuck you over this fucking wall. But besides him just roasting people, they go into the arc of how the Hound is being more sympathetic. They perfectly pay it off by saving Arya from killing herself for vengeance, which is the very thing that consumes Sandor Clegane. Clegane Bull Although this was very cheesy, it gave us some very epic and funny moments. The funny one being Kyburn's death. I can still watch that moment and laugh because it's so stupid that it's good. But yeah, the whole scene is epic and fun. The awesome set piece. The slow build of the draw of the swords. The reveal of what the mountain looks like. The epic fight. Big Chungus, great editing, character payoffs, what more could you ask for? The Destruction of King's Landing Although the motivation for Daenerys destroying King's Landing was horribly executed, the destruction of King's Landing itself was still really well done. They always mentioned how dragons leveled cities like with Tywin talking to Arya. Harren and all his sons roasted alive within these walls. But now we actually get to see it in all its glory. Also, having Arya's point of view gives you a real sense of how much chaos is unfolding in the city. Without her perspective giving more depth to the scenario, it would have just been pure spectacle. Samuel meeting Daenerys This was surprisingly one of the best scenes in episode 1 that we didn't even know we needed. Samuel being humbled and giddy to meet Daenerys to suddenly turn with the mention of the death of his family is so powerful. Jon Snow figuring out he is a Targaryen so the initial reaction in this whole scene was great. It's been set up for a long time and we finally get to see the payoff of Jon's reaction. The only downside from this scene is that it changes Jon's character for the worse. He basically turns into a Jon that keeps repeating, I don't want it, and you are my queen, after this point. But the initial reaction was powerful, and it was just done to death. Davos seeing Shireen 2.0 this was another moment that came out of nowhere and hits you in the heart because of the girl's semblance to Shireen. It was a great addition because it reminds us of Davos' past relationship. The only unfortunate thing is that she doesn't come back in the Battle of Winterfell while the crypt is getting rolled by the undead. It's just a great scene with setup that doesn't have payoff later on. The entire wine and chill scene. This whole scene was great. We have Tyrion and Jaime talking about how they evolved and changed. We have Tormund hitting on Brienne. And we also have him drinking giant's milk. We have Brienne of Tarth fucking smiling. Podrick singing. Oh my god, I can barely contain myself. We can all agree that Podrick singing is easily the best part of season 8. When the Dothraki seemingly get wiped out. Although it's completely idiotic for the Dothraki to charge head on into the enemy, it was still a good moment. The whole notion that the entirety of the Dothraki force getting rolled into one minute reintroduces how vicious and dangerous the White Walker army is. It sets the stakes that everyone is screwed, and it will take a miracle to survive. To me it's great setup, with obviously not so great payoff. Arya being a badass on the wall. Although it's shrouded in darkness, this is ironically one of the only fight scenes we get that they don't cut away from or use any crazy jarring editing. This is the only time in the season that Arya kicks ass, and I guess we can just take whatever we can get at this point. The relationship between Arya and the Hound This is the one thing that I wish we got more of. These two characters have both changed so much, it would have been interesting to see their new dynamic. But instead, they just teleport to King's Landing like everyone else, and we go from this character interaction... You're gonna leave me to die again if I get hurt. ...to this character interaction... You come with me. You die here. It just feels like a big gap, and they left stuff out. Tyrion's goodbye to Jaime. 
Alright, for this point, I am definitely not including Jamie saying he didn't care for the public of King's Landing. Fucking light that shit on fire. The portion after that moment where Tyrion says goodbye to Jamie and how he wouldn't have survived if it weren't for him is really emotional and we barely see Tyrion break down this much. It is a little unfortunate that by this point people feel disconnected with Tyrion because of his deterioration. The shot of Danny being a dragon. This is just a very quick moment, but everyone was impressed by that shot. We basically all went like this, and we're like, whoa, cool, and then we went back to that neutral state of not knowing how to react to the finale. Danny getting to touch the Iron Throne. This was another well done moment. The music swelling, the payoff of Daenerys winning, her reaction, just this whole moment gives you goosebumps. Brienne of Tarth changing Jaime's deeds. To me, this was my favorite moment in all of the finale, ironically. It gives you an actual resolution to Jamie's character and a relationship between him and Brienne. It's a very feel-good moment, and it's hard to take issue with it. The only issue is that she didn't let the fucking ink dry. John petting Ghost. After the abysmal goodbye to Ghost in episode 4, where all Ghost got was a glance, everyone was ready to revolt. Luckily, they redeemed themselves in what was probably just a reshoot. Ghost deserves much better, but at least we got a pet out of John.